Also known as giant slippery frogs, these frogs are the largest living frogs on Earth. They can reach the size of a small house cat, weighing over 7 pounds and reaching more than a foot in length. And that's not with their legs stretched out. Unfortunately, they're also endangered. Goliath frogs face overhunting and habitat loss. All that size makes for a huge meal of frog legs. But, because their populations are so low, they're protected. Sadly, this doesn't stop some people from poaching them anyway. Goliath frogs are native to a small section of western Africa, where they spend their time in rainforest habitats. They're most commonly found in rivers that aren't completely covered by the tree canopy, but they always stay near clean, oxygen-rich, swift-moving sources of water, including waterfalls. They may be shipped overseas for jumping contests, as they can leap nearly 10 feet horizontally, but this just adds to their population decline. It's been suggested they may have such a restricted range because their tadpoles are picky eaters, only consuming a certain type of aquatic plant native to their home. Goliath frog tadpoles are the same size as average frog tadpoles at first, but they keep growing, and growing, and growing. Something weird about these frogs is that the males are larger than the females. In most frogs, the ladies outweigh the lads. It's believed goliath frog males may come in larger sizes because males construct nesting areas by digging depressions in sandy stream beds, and clearing their areas of leaf litter and large rocks. They have to be strong in order to push those boulders. Though they're big boys, they don't make large calls. They lack vocal sacs. It should be noted, however, though many sources say they're mute, that's only half true. These frogs do make noise, just not in the same way as most other frogs. They make whistles and grunts to serenade their partners. Males will compete with each other over breeding rights to nearby ladies. The female lays anywhere from 100 to over 2,000 sticky eggs, which attach to vegetation and other surfaces in the nesting area. The adults will stick around the nest, protecting it, though it's not currently known how long they may remain at the nest. After hatching, it takes about three months for the tadpoles to fully develop. In the wild, they're believed to live more than a decade, though most captive individuals don't live more than a few years, and they aren't currently known to breed in captivity. Goliath frog eggs may be eaten by freshwater shrimp. As adults, their large size often offers them protection, and they change their activity based on their size. Younger frogs generally stay in the water, while larger individuals spend more time basking on rocks outside of the water. They can afford the freedom, but they're often within hopping distance of the water's safety. Goliath frogs are mostly active at night, and hunt food such as crabs and other crustaceans, fish, mollusks like snails, spiders, other frogs, and small birds and mammals. There was even a goliath frog found with a bat in its stomach. Thank you to our patrons, SpikeSpeagle93, Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. Thank you to Mr. Animal Lover and Elephant Puppet for today's request. For more facts on goliath frogs, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.